Hello everybody and welcome back to the Frank Olson Twins YouTube channel. I've been making mini amps for a number of years and sometimes I just don't want to start from scratch. So today we're making a guitar amp from parts bought from Amazon. The question is, can you make one for cheaper than you can buy one? Well, let's find out. Currently, a mini amp goes for between $30 and $60 on Amazon. And I think we can make one for cheaper. These are the parts I bought for this amp. I'll put links in the description if you want to try your hand at this DIY project. So here's the module I purchased, and these are the hookup notes. Here are the rest of the working parts of the amp, a speaker, battery and holder, and input jacks. And now I'll just quickly hook it up to test that it all works together. You'll need some kind of enclosure for this. I didn't add this into the price because it really can be any free little box that you make or find. I made a little wood cabinet for mine with the head glued on top. Hooking up the electronics is easy, but may require some soldering. Here I'm gluing in the battery box. And now we'll hook up the speaker wires and the positive battery connector. By using a TRS stereo input jack, you can hook up the negative battery wire to act as an automatic switch as shown. Now we just have to plug in the input and install the amp into the cabinet. The input jack gets tightened into place. Insert the battery and test that the jack turns on the amp when the cable plug is inserted. Now we're ready to go. The music may get loud, so check your volume now. And that's how I make a mini amp with Amazon parts. The price of all the parts listed is about $40 for two amps, so you can make two and give one to a friend for about 20 bucks each. You can also save money by removing the small input jack and soldering your quarter inch jack directly. If you make one, please let me know how it turned out in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.